Everybody, welcome to Moto Monday again. Another little part of our channel and the diversity that we do on this vlog. So we're gonna mix it up a little different tonight. Mel and I are going out to the city and we're gonna go ride around in Iloilo City on Panay Island here in the Philippines and let you guys have some nighttime views. We're gonna be over uh, in what they call the Mega World area, over near Festive Walk, uh, the Festive Walk Mall area right there. That's the old airport that they turned into a upscale development. We're gonna probably ride over around to the government buildings. We're gonna ride around by the wharf. We'll probably go around by Fort Sandro. Fort San Pedro. <laughs> yeah, Fort San Pedro, and uh, hit that area a little bit. So that's where we're going out right now. Uh, I've got my beautiful little wife right here, my beautiful little bride. So let's get this Moto Monday started. Here we are, we are at the edge of Molo right now. So here we are, we are coming up on the Molo Plaza. Now I get bright lighted so much on this bike. Actually in my both of my trucks I do too, you know, man. The, you really get bright lighted by the Filipinos. I guess when you're used to looking at headlights like that. So this is the Molo Plaza right over here, it's the Molo Church. And we're gonna hook a left right here and we're gonna go around to the hold on just a second here kind of paying attention what's going on we are going to go around over the river and around by atria and over to mega world Always busy right through here. So that's the Esplanade and this is the river we're going over here. It's not very lit up at night. Um, the Esplanade over here on the sides is, but not right there at this spot. There's people doing Zumba there right now. It's this one spatial, just like down in Dumaguete, there's one spatial marina. It's one spatial, same building, same basic layout. Right over here to the side.
this intersection right up here there's usually traffic enforcers that they will get you a lot of times yeah he's over there right now they got melinda here the other day for her tires being up over the crosswalk let this bus get in here yep her tire was up on the crosswalk they got her they just gave her a um, don't do it again type situation So this is over in Mega World right here. This is the old, it's the old airport area. new condominiums going up um, they've been riding me to come up here the people building are over those condominiums they want me to kind of promote it on my vlog I got a text message back from them today um, want me to come to events now of course they want to use me as a, a avenue for advertisement this is a um, courtyard Marriott over here to the left very nice courtyard man they have a breakfast buffet in there it's huge and they have a dinner buffet and at lunch they don't have one though at lunch you can just go to the bar area and get like sandwich stuff all of that but man really nice buffet in there big spread big big spread and this is the convention center over here to the side there's call centers down through here and that is the Richmond hotel right over there and it's a very nice hotel also and then we're coming up on the mega world festive walk mall right up here ahead of us lots of restaurants or starbucks right there lots of restaurants lots of call center workers new yeah new starbucks Want to slow ride it through here, but this car is really wanting to get over. Probably want to go to that parking garage. It's got a couple different parking garages through here. And there is a Bourbon Street right there. There's a Bourbon Street over in another area, too. There's a couple of them here. And these are more condos here. There's a two-story McDonald's that just reopened right behind us.
So this is Diversion Road, Volvo dealer. There is a huge SL mall up here and they're going to build another massive SL mall in Haro back over to my left direction over here uh, over in that area here in the upcoming future Mitsubishi Motors here uh, there's some car dealers down Diversion Road here but if you go over in the Haro where I'm talking about which is back like say over in the direction to my left there is a lot of car dealers over in that area back towards Santa Barbara Pavia area over there building a big new Ford dealership there's already one here but they're building a big new one it looks like it's gonna be like top of the line maybe the city is full of huge hotels it is just unbelievable how many hotel options you have some very nice hotels so it's the SM mall coming up here to the right and they actually have a SM tower and over that bridge and a parking garage over here to the left and right next to it is the what's that called um, Japanese something um, in Jap that's the mall right there remodeled the theater just recently brand new IMAX in the South Point right over here and that's a nice area Viking restaurants over there. this is all so beautiful I was really hoping you guys would all appreciate seeing our beautiful city at night they make a lot of u-turns being made right there and this is a brand new burger king right here to the right Street to the right there takes you back around to the Atria area and over where SNR is. Azul's Latin restaurant, um, Spring Palace. You can go back over to Smallville. Run this too fast because I want you guys to have time to see things. So I'm not going to run a race tonight. <laughs> not tonight. I'll let you guys see things. So down this road, also, it's there's a city hardware there. That's the first one they built here in Iloilo. Um, Honda dealership and we're going up here fixing to go back over the river again and the Esplanade continues so we're gonna make a left and we're going to head around over to the capital area and around over by the wharf If we went right here, it would take us back home. 
that we head straight to our house. Ocean City, that's a good place to get a nice little brisk in there. All right, actually, it's like a chowder. So over to our left, right behind these buildings, the Esplanade continues down through there and there's a lot of restaurants in those buildings and little bars in the back and all that you can hang out with. The Esplanade is all to our left right down there. Really nice. Really nice. University. So one of the mods that I'm wanting to do this bike is change the front sprocket to a 14 tooth sprocket. This bike I never see, fifth or sixth gear, hardly ever. And the first gear is a little high. And that's a real common thing everybody's doing. So here, right here we're in the capital area. Let's let y'all see this real quick. There's a lot of mixing and mashing around right here, so you gotta be careful. And there's a lot of different parts of the capital area, but we'll just go around over here. Uh, and we'll follow along by the river here. There's Mule over there on the other side, nice restaurant, and the Iloilo Boat Club is right over there too, right on the other side. So that's the river down the side right over there. Really nice work they've done here. Look at all that beautiful landscaping. And so we're kind of going back over to another capital area here. There's the boat club right over there. That's the grandstand they built right over there. It's 
used to be the immigration building right here, but they moved immigration over into Festive Walk over we were at earlier there at Mega World. It's the Bureau of Customs there at the Port of Iloilo. Beautiful old building. Just so beautiful. We're going to follow the road along that follows the, high, the river right here. The other day, I videoed on the other side right over there at the wharf picking up uh, our guests there when they came in on the ferry. So this is the wharf, the port area. Must be some good food back there. So, we'll come around over here. There's a lot of, uh, a lot of ferries dock in over here. Coming from Gimaris Island which is just so near and then there's big ferry that comes in over here which is the super ferry is what it used to be called years ago and then they changed it to to go so to go ports in right up here ahead right up over there at Fort San Pedro always watch out for construction Coast Guard vessel, bright lighter. This little city mall right here where all these little ferries pull up here coming from camera so I guess they want to catch them right off right when they step off the ferry and say hey do your shopping right here you don't even have to go into the city do your shopping right here now the PMP uh, grounds are all right here all this white and blue fence that's off the Philippine National Police various different offices see right there police regional six off grounds there all kinds of different buildings for different departments in there and this is all port over here to the side some cranes and stuff there for off-lifting containers and cargo and we are now at Fort San Pedro which you can go out there and all there's a monument out on that corner there and it's so near at this point over to Gimaris Island so you can imagine one of the reasons they had a fort there is protecting that narrow strait right there between the islands back in the day the Spaniards and all any ships anything coming through you catch them right there at that choke point Mel, you need anything back there? Huh? You want anything back there? No. 
all right so we can go two different ways here I'm gonna go around to the right I want you all to see this so nice here and we'll take a break here and hang out for a little while so this is the City Hall right here and another plaza the City Hall is over there and check out this old church here and it's just beautiful well lit so we'll find a little place to turn around here and hang out and enjoy you want to go over to the other side Mo? yeah there's an old train over there on the other side we'll go over and park on the other side No, there's not a place to park over here though, babe. It's a no parking zone. And we can park right over here. And we'll just pull up in here and hang out for just a little bit and walk around some. Go ahead, babe. Wow, it's nice. It's still ringing the old church bell. Wow, Miss Mel looking smoking hot tonight, man. I love her wearing those bell bottoms, man. Hip huggers, boy. Man. With boots. Yeah, with boots too, huh? Man, you're rocking it, girl. You're rocking it. So here we are right here. This is the Elo Elo City Hall. Isn't that just a beautiful building? Very nice. Even this one here. And and then it's attached directly onto a big plaza here. And I just tell you, I, I really love this city, I do. So uh, they're all up here performing right now, practicing their routines. There's always something going on in the Philippines, and there's always an event or something there's that they are. There's a lot of events. Yeah. Festival. <laughs> it's not in the uh, province, uh, in the municipal, in barangay. It's so many. There is so many. Let's walk around over here. So, this was an old train right here. This isn't like some mock-up replica. This is a real old train that was used here on, the, I guess, the Panay Railway before. Um, I don't know what gauge this would be on these rails. Um, they're wider. They're about a meter apart on the rails. It might be a narrow gauge. Um, check that out kind of shadow it out here right now here we go I'm gonna fish all this back when we catch more of it in the shot yep that old train they put it up here Let's see if it's got any kind of labeling on it anywhere I guess it's probably from in the 1800s um, a lot of the trains that I come across are from the U.S., from Philadelphia, from different places. Oh man, you can see the old baller in there. Hold on, let's 
turn on the light. That old baller and all in there, man. Yeah. Pretty interesting. Pretty interesting. Let's try to see if there's a label on it here anywhere. Sometimes it'll have them and you'll see. Probably could see it better if it was daytime. See where a, maybe a manufacturing plate or something is on it. But pretty much all these old trains are out of the United States. Reminds you like old Petticoat Junction. Remember that old show? Petticoat Junction. Tell me if you remember that. Smell once her picture taken. <laughs> and then right off the bridge. Yeah. <laughs> well, let's walk around a minute more here. Now, I'm telling you, in the daytime, these streets right here are busy. Of course, all these businesses roll up at night. Really nice. Yeah, nice yeah, big trees. Oh. Let's get your power there in it too. Girl power. <laughs> I got them, baby. I got them. Really appreciate you all joining and watching Moto Monday here with us and uh, seeing a little bit more of where we live and our surroundings besides just right there at the property building all the time. And if you do like these videos and you appreciate seeing all these beautiful things and places and all, Please let us know by hitting that like button and it'll get it out there and share it to more people. It'll push it in the algorithm. Write a comment. That helps out too. And uh, we would definitely appreciate it. Let's see here what it says about this plaza here. I'll let you all read this for a second. Uh, I bet every one of you are reading it perfect English, right? Do you find it interesting how they use the word December? Like the month December, that's how they spell it there? Yeah, December. Yeah. November. No, no, yeah. November. Yeah. You said it is the one that they gathering here and they... Uh, Raise the flood of the Philippines. So a little fun fact for you all. There's a lot of ties between Texas and the Philippines people don't know or realize. The state of Texas was one time by King Philip named the New Philippines. And there were several different reasons why. And one of the reasons he found the natives there in Texas. Uh, when they came there, they found them to be very similar to the attitudes and spirit of the Filipino people. And he sent archbishops and all in the first Catholic churches that was set up in the state of Texas before it was the state when it was part of Spain and the Mexican territory and all Mexico. Um, the first Catholic churches set up were set up by Filipino bishops brought from Manila for the king. So if you didn't know that, um, so some of the first things that was set up in Texas um, by Spain were set up actually by Filipinos. King Philip figured that um, the people that he had here in the Philippines would be able to come across better to the natives over there in Texas than a bunch of Spaniards. And so um, he used them to kind of help infiltrate the area and 
Also, I, I'm going to share a little article here with you, too, about um, the Texas flag being raised here in the Philippines. And it's kind of interesting about that also. So have a little look here at this article and this old picture right here. I think you'll find it interesting. See the plumera there? They got cool music playing up here in the plaza, man. This is nice and soothing. It's really awesome. So, um, and we get copyright on it. So let's take a pause. Yeah, you still look cute. Still cute, 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 cute. <laughs> This is a painting of the Paral that's along our beach. The event that just happened, the uh, Paral Regatta. And that's a painting depicting it right there, up here in this hotel, isn't that nice? How was that drink? <laughs> it's good, huh? Uh, it's good till, <laughs> I think later when I go home. I'm gonna be. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, Mel don't drink very much alcohol. One drink and she's, no, she's one, done for. I think you showed that story that some somebody like you know do the motor motorcycle ride and then like he was really. <laughs> yeah, the girl on the bike was uh, fell out of sleep and was laying all backwards. Yeah, we were just talking about that the yeah. other day. Yeah. So maybe, maybe later I'm, I am like. <laughs> well, we have. That's why I put the top box. You can't. You can't lean Somebody, back. <laughs> so one of our viewers said that can, she kind of the same like that also. I think yeah, it's one of our viewers came over there that told the story also. So that's why I like her. She said she like there's a foot belt on her. So if, if she said that she tied herself to him. Yeah. Yes, she did. She said she what's put that, a belt all the way around. That, uh, shared that story. Yeah. I forgot. It was telling that. Yeah. <laughs> so she told me that I think that's, that's what I'm going to do also, you know. Like, oh, no, you're um, not going <laughs> to do either. <laughs> <laughs> I think 
she tied herself to him so she wouldn't fall off because yes. she falls asleep on the back of the bike. <laughs> uh, so we're up here in Sida, Sida, Seda, Seda Hotel. Uh, a little bit of music pumping here right now, but we decided to have a little drink and get some food before we go home. And man, they're pumping the music out though. <laughs> it's really time for us to go out. Well, everybody, we appreciate you watching Moto Monday today. We're going to end this vlog here. We are up here at the top of a hotel, enjoying the restaurant, having one drink before we roll on home and call it a night. But we both thank you very much for watching us again. Keep supporting the channel. If you like this video of the day, give us thumbs up. Absolutely. And Thank you. <laughs> yeah, but don't give us a thumbs down. Just comment <laughs> below. <laughs> we got a journey to make at home. So everybody have a good night and we'll see you on the next, on the next one. Video.